here at Archbright in Clapham. So today I'm gonna to be having a chat with my mate. He's okay, he's he's not my mate. I've only actually just met him today and I don't actually think he likes me, but I'm gonna have a chat with this really cool guy. He has over 100,000 followers on Instagram. And when it comes to the art of expression, in his case, the pencil is mightier than the sword. Who is it? Who is it? It's K-Dot, the illustrator. Hello. Hello. Can I call you K-Dizzle for Shizzle? No. Okay, so for everyone who doesn't know who you are and what you do, please explain it to them. I take people's faces, I put them on paper, and I colour them in. So who else inspires you in terms of artists? Um, I'm a huge Jim Lee fan and Todd, Todd McFarlane fan. They're my main guys. But they're more of the comic book stuff. But like, that's what I've been. I've been grown I've grown up with them looking at their art, basically. So what is it? Do you see something, you like it and you're like, hey, I'm gonna draw that? Yeah, like Everyone loves, loves a pretty woman, so you're going to draw that. And then I, I thought I'll change it up a bit, so I'll try a few cars. And now I try, I'm starting on the landscapes a bit more now. Because people get bored of seeing faces, I guess. How long have you been drawing for? Uh, well, the cliche answer would be all my life. <laughs> but I guess more serious the past two years, two, three years. So I started uh, following you on Instagram probably about, I don't know, like less than a year ago and I just remember the first time I followed you, you probably had about 14,000 followers or something like that and obviously that's still a load of followers and now he's got like over 100,000 followers. How does that make you feel first <laughs> of all? <laughs> I think it's just a number but then when you put it in perspective you can fill up a stadium with that many people, then you start thinking, wow, that's, that's quite a lot of people seeing my work. So this guy, you know, he's, he's all right. I mean, I give him his props, he's okay, he's good, he's standard, you know what I mean? But I don't know, me personally, I feel like I can match it, if not do better. And so because of that, we're gonna have a 60 seconds competition. He's gonna draw me, I'm gonna draw him, and then we'll see who's better. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It's the moment of truth. <laughs> so this oh, is obviously what I've done in 60 seconds. <laughs> so how do you gauge your your style, how did that evolve? How did it start? And how is it where it is now, today? I was looking at a few other people's art, artwork and I thought, it's, it's, you can just draw a picture of someone without like, making it look exactly like the picture. And it's just gonna be a, another picture. It's not gonna have your mm. twist to it. So then I started seeing other people's work and I saw, oh, they're doing some fancy stuff to their backgrounds, they're adding drips, they're adding smoke or whatever. And I thought, I can do that, I can try and mix it all up, put my own sort of spin on it, rub a few things out, make it look a bit, a few gaps in the spaces. I'm just experimenting, I guess. Because people automatically, they'll see it and they'll think, oh, that's the illustrator's work. It's, it's, like, it's like a night tick on the top, you know, the brand. 
so now you've gone on to like the smoke and to me it seems quite moody quite like angry almost like I feel like you're uh, you're drawing people but re maybe I'm looking too much into it because you know it's like art right but I feel like you're like giving your emotion <laughs> through your art like maybe you're upset and so or at that time you're upset and so when you were drawing Rihanna you was like mm, put some smoke I'm gonna be angry I'm put dark colors <laughs> like where does that come from where where did the do the dark kind of grungy colours come from and why did you take to that? Mm, I'm not always upset when I'm joining to say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess sometimes you just feel, you just feel moody. We I mean, live in London, look at the weather. Mm. It's like, might as well reflect the streets. Yesterday I stalked you on Twitter, <laughs> timeline or whatever, and he's like a bit angry sometimes, <laughs> right? Like you yeah. called someone <laughs> the other day. <laughs> Where he's like, oh, liars are Oh yeah. Did that really upset you? Yeah, it's just, it's just, <coughs> you get people let you down, mm. and you, some, you just need to vent sometimes. So. And you clearly feel no way to just do that on Twitter mm -hmm. and on Instagram. Just let the world know. And and you take it out on on the comments and the people that ask some stupid mm. questions. No, no. <laughs> if you're stupid and you ask a stupid question, then I think you deserve to be blasted for being stupid. That. Well, there's only so much you can do. You can report them. Yeah. You can put them on blast, but that's all, it, all you can do, I guess. It's disrespectful. It is disrespectful, but do you not see it as a bit of a compliment at the same time that your work is worthy enough for them to steal it? Yeah, you see it as a comp. It's a bit of a backhand compliment. <laughs> so, but they got a sad life, so I'll let them live. Football or wrestling? Football. Man or woman? Woman. Respect or popularity? Respect. In front or behind? In front. Rubber or sharpener? Sharpener. Big or small? Big. Left hand or right hand? Ooh. Right hand. Saucy. <laughs> Brianna or Jasmine Saunders? Jasmine. Black or white? Black. Straight or curved? Curved. To start with, you get the charcoal, you draw it onto a separate piece of paper, then you use your cotton bud, like a paintbrush, you dab it onto the charcoal, and then you just use this circular sort of S motion, like that. And then you use a rubber, and you just rub out the area you want to draw in, in this case, I'm just going to draw a quick skeleton face and then you just manipulate the smoke around the, the face. And that's that. really hard to find support when you're doing something within like the creative industries because initially the money doesn't come running through the letterbox <laughs> so do you have any advice for other freelance artists out there who's who's just about to like quit their job like what preparation did you take before you even quit your job build up a fan base first make sure you have someone people who are actually willing to pay for your work but stay true to your art draw what you want to draw not what people are telling you to draw unless they're obviously paying you for it so take a risk I guess as well. and finally if someone asks can you draw me for free what do you say <laughs> <laughs> email info at the illustrator.com and I'll give you a reply <laughs> So make sure you check out K Dot the Illustrator on his website. www.the-illustrator with an e.com. And his Instagram. At the Illustrator, all one word. And his Twitter. At the Illustrator, all one word. 
and in life. <laughs> Find me in Stratford. <laughs> Get it? Ow! <laughs> Pro. Uh. Hey, pretty girl, what is your name? Where are you from? Where's your main? Oh, you ain't got one? Good, let's chill. I'm really feeling you, baby, so tell me what's the deal. Slide me your number, I'll slide you mine. So when you talk about, like, being scared and stuff, it's really interesting because... <laughs> <laughs> pretty scared of stuff, <laughs> Jump! <laughs> <laughs>